What's the news across the nation? We have got the information in a way we hope will amuse you. We just love to give you our views. Shooby dooby doo, ring a ding, swingers. Laughing looks at the news. Ladies and gents, laughing looks at the news. Looking at the news. Here's the laughing news with animals going onto the ark in pairs, the Paris peace talks splitting hairs, airlines upping their fares, and David Cassidy sleeps in the nude. Who cares? And now with the news, Dan Rowan and Dick Martin. Here are the news headlines. Jack Anderson makes error, then exposes himself. <laughs> that's, an, that's an expose. Fine. Uh, Bobby Fisher agrees to do his own TV series, provided no cameras are used. <laughs> Milton Berle steals Henny Youngman's wife, please. And now here's Dick with his news of the present because his future looks pretty bleak. Dateline, Long, Long Angeles. Los Angeles. Yes. That's an Indian pronunciation you wouldn't know about. Dateline, Long Angeles. Last Friday, 25 women were arrested for marching down Hollywood Boulevard in the nude. Three days later, they were brought to the police station and booked. When asked why it took them so long to arrest them, the exhausted chief of the vice squad replied, well, first we had to dust them for fingerprints. <laughs> I was glad I was on that one, too. Yes. I was covering that story. Lansing, Michigan, Mr. E. Gregory Hookstratton, who recently underwent a sex change operation, continues to live at home with his wife and two children. During the first week back, a friend asked his wife, who was that lady I saw you with last night? And she said, that was no lady, that was my husband. <laughs> and now here's Dank with the Nutcher Fuse. Louisville, Kentucky, 20 years from now, Colonel Harlan Sanders came to a most unusual end today. According to early reports, he was on his way home when he was suddenly attacked by 400 revenge-crazed chickens who were heard crying out, get him, get him, he's finger-licking good. <laughs> News of the future 20 years from now, South Bend, Indiana. The Notre Dame football team announced its regrets today at having to turn down what would have been their first Negro quarterback. Spokesman for the team, Alex Grabowski and Nino Zankowitz said, it was nothing personal, it just wouldn't be the fighting Irish anymore. <laughs> and now to our foreign news bureau all over the world. We are about to talk with Jacques Vachon, a man who's been living in this jungle for over a year now. Uh, here he comes now. Jacques, Jacques, uh, tell me, did living alone in this jungle uh, cause any ill effect? Not at all, not at all. Oh, why are you carrying this rock? This ain't no rock, it's my wife. <laughs> and here is a report from the Sino-Russian border. By the way, uh, what are you having for dinner tonight? Something different, rice on a shingle. Uh-huh, <laughs> you people eat much, much rice. Ah, oh, you said it. I didn't. You said it. Mm, we not know if we fight for Chairman Mao or Uncle Ben. The red joke, I think we should defect. Ah, with you. <laughs> you say nothing, I'll say nothing. Now to our lady in paradise for the heavenly news, here's Angel Good. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Hi, Angel Good here with the good news for you. I'll tell you, Michelangelo was at a party last night, and when somebody said that his artwork on the Sistine Chapel was awful, Michelangelo hit the ceiling. <laughs> oh, that was rich. Can't get much higher than this. Mir Mar oh, oh, wait, 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 Marie Antoinette. I'm telling you, she gets on my nerves. She was supposed to appear as a speaker last week at one of our luncheons. She forgot all about it. I tell you, that woman would forget her head if it wasn't attached to her. Oops, that was insensitive of me. Oh, one last item. Lizzie Borden has opened up a delicatessen, and you know what her specialty is? Chopped liver. <laughs> that Lizzie always was a funny devil. A funny what? Ah, oh, cool it. Anyway, back to you, Dan and Dick. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Having presented the news from heaven, we now give equal time to the lower regions. So let's all go to Hades. 
Oh, bells, bells. Here's the news. <laughs> well, here's a hot item. The Emperor Nero's been cast into the burning pit. Guess you might say, the fat's on the fire now. <laughs> you might say that. Now, here's a fashion note. I just saw Mata Hari. Boy, she looked awful. She was wearing a long, bulky, high-neck outfit to conceal all her charms. I asked her why, and she said, Flip Wilson maybe buy this dress. <laughs> I'll be damned. You already are. Oh. You didn't like Flip Wilson? I thought it was good. Hold it down. Here is a recent statement uh, from a member of the League Against Obscenity. <laughs> he seems to find this amusing. <laughs> Let's hope we do. <laughs> Rolling right along, Shirley Temple, Pat Boone, and the Girl Scouts of America recently sponsored a symposium on the subject of pornography. Speaking to an audience which included Lawrence Welk, Roy Rogers, and several members of Congress. Miss Temple said that the filth factories were undermining a moral fiber to a fantastic degree. Mr. Boone, Clement Sagan, Mr. Boone in his address demanded a return to simple movies about folks just having a good time. In closing, they asked the moral support from Chief Justice Berger and the Supreme Court. Now, here's what could happen to the same speech in the hands of an unfriendly editor. I understand a very unusual X-rated movie has just been released, sir. Uh, whom does this pornographic movie star? Shirley Temple, Pat Boone, and the Girl Scouts of America. <laughs> well, who else is in this dirty movie? Lawrence Welk, Roy Rogers, and several members of Congress. <laughs> What are Pat Boone, Shirley Temple, and the Girl Scouts of America doing in a movie like this? Just having a good old time. <laughs> I've heard rumors that the same producer is going to do another pornographic movie. Who will be in that one? Chief Justice Berger and the Supreme Court. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that's it, folks. And now here's Heavy Helen, our street freak with a far-out news. Oh, wow, out of sight. I mean, like, you know, uh, like heavy. I mean, this this is heavy Helen with the far freak out news, man. And so, uh, like, get it together. Ready, man? In a recent survey on whether or not marijuana should be, like, uh, legalized, one man, like, declared that he had, like, no opinion. But, like, they had to ask him the question, like, 37 times. <laughs> heavy fantastic, man. I mean, can you dig it? Uh, back to you, Dick and Man. Dan. <laughs> Be do, ladies and gents, laughing, looked at the news, looking at the news. <laughs> <laughs>